Hey, hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can develop Spring Boot application by using Visual Studio Code Editor. So in general, to develop the Spring Boot application, we generally use uh, Spring Tool Suit or we are using Spring Initializer like this. So like uh, you can able to select the required projects, Spring Boot version and project metadata and dependency. So same things we can able to achieve via uh, Visual Studio Code also. So it is a, like a ideal lightweight development environment for uh, Spring Boot application developers. And uh, there are several useful VS Code extension uh, we can use in order to develop Spring Boot application into VS Code. So that are like uh, we are using Spring Boot tools, then Spring Initializer and Spring Boot dashboard extension. Okay, so the, here is a like a document uh, from the VS code that you can uh, explore here. So we are going to check the demo about this document, how we can develop a uh, Spring Boot application. Okay, so let's open the VS code. Okay, so first we will install the Java extension. So type Java extension okay so we are got so we got this extension pack for java so click on install okay so our java extension is installed okay so now we are going to install one more extension package so that is a spring boot extension yeah so these are like a spring boot extension so this is the one where it contains all about all about three extension okay so just click on this so this is a spring boot extension pack it consists of three uh, like uh, one is a spring initializer java support it will provide the spring initializer whatever we use to develop via uh, spring initializer url then we have spring boot tools like uh, sts we are uh, previously used to develop and then the spring boot dashboard okay so we need to install this extension pack click on install okay our spring boot extension pack is installed so you can see all three are installed now okay so now our uh, extensions are installed now let's start creating projects so if you can see left hand side so there is an option called explorer so go to explorer yeah so here you can see one option uh, like uh, you can also create java project so click on this create java project so here like uh, we have to select this uh, spring boot provided by spring boot initializer java support so click on this spring boot then we have to select the project that is a maven project then we have to choose spring boot version as a minimum 2.6.13 we have to choose project language as a java then we have to give some package so com dot simplifying tech enter package name project name hello spring boot packaging type as a jar java version 17 then it is asking for dependencies like uh, we used to have this kind of dependencies here that dependencies so generally we have to give spring web so this one okay let's say enter so it is asking where to save this project so go to any directory where okay so so it is downloading this package so it is downloaded as cvs code hello spring boot okay let's say open okay so our hello spring boot project is created in the left hand side you can see uh, the project artifacts let's verify pom.xml yeah so so we have dependency added as a spring or what spring framework dot boot start a web and start a test okay so now if we have like this source main java so here your basic uh, Spring Boot starter is created. So that is at the Spring Boot app. So we want to 
develop one Spring Boot API or REST API. So create this class only as a REST controller. So import this REST controller, say control space. So you have to give first one. Okay, so our REST controller is imported. Okay, so we are going to implement one uh, REST call. So type, uh, so we are using to write the gate mapping REST call. So this is the gate mapping, click, click on this gate mapping. So we have to provide one REST call name. So type backslash hello VS code then we have to write method signature public string get vs code or get hello vs code and just here we have to return one sentence here just return hello spring boot from vs code that's it save it and if you can see left hand side uh, dot java file so right click on this dot java file say run java so it is launching main class it is compiling oh build is failed why it is failed we have we have missed semicolon okay so give the semicolon save it again run java so it is starting spring boot application okay so our application is started on port 8080 so go to browser and verify if our application is working so go here type uh, localhost colon 8080 slash hello vs code yeah so we got the output hello spring boot from vs code so that we have given here hello spring boot from vs code okay so this way like uh, we can uh, install this extensions from here extensions like we can able to run the spring boot application so you can develop any spring boot application uh, using vs code so you don't need to install spring tool suit separately for uh, developing the spring boot application okay so that's it for today thanks a lot for watching